What is going on everyone? Eagle Man here today with another box break. Today we're going to be going old school with some 1995 Leaf Series 1. I have a whole hobby box in front of me. And so this is kind of a junk wax era thing. It's like approaching that post junk wax era stuff. This is a set that isn't really circulated a lot. You don't hear too much about it, but there are some pretty cool rare inserts that can come out of this set. So if you look back into the 90s, the mid to late 90s are when inserts in the, the stuff we see today, like parallels and whatnot, that's where we start to see this in this type of era. And there's some really cool stuff that you can get in here. For instance, the statistical standouts, which are numbered out of 5,000 per each, those are one in 70 packs, and those are pretty tough to come by, and they sell for quite a bit of money. There's a really nice Ken Griffey Jr. in that set, which is what we're going to be looking for today. That is the chase card of today's break. If you guys are new to the channel, I'd love for you to like and subscribe and join me for more of these throwback breaks. But here we go. This is 1995 Leaf. Something new on the channel. I haven't done this set too much. Feature on the channel. Wow, these packs open up just like butter. But let's take a look at the design real quick. You can see, oh, good. These cards are not stuck together as much as I was expecting them to be. There's your classic design. The script name in the bottom in gold foil with the team name in a nice hollow foil, bold font on the left. So these kind of names are kind of hard to see, so I'm gonna go fairly slow, just so I can see them correctly. And let's see here, there's nice Deion Sanders. These are a little bit stuck together. Chuck Finley, John Doherty, and Kurt Reggie Sanders. We've got a card flipped over. Four of 16, so this is a, okay, Gold Leaf Rookies. That's one of the insert sets, Gold Leaf Rookies. Haven't heard of the guy. I don't think there's any too big names from there. Got Rondell White. Denny Hawking. These names are kind of hard to see with the script. Yeah, but I don't think there's any crazy base cards in here. It's really just the inserts that we're looking for. This is also a really good set builder for myself. As you guys know, the way I collect baseball cards is I like to build sets out of them. Uh, that's really my interest in the hobby. People collect differently. And you can collect however you want. I'm going to show the odds real quick. Yes, yeah, so those gold leaf rookies are one and two. This is very, very difficult. The cornerstone card, those are really good looking cards. Those are one and 14. It's the statistical standouts, which is what we're looking for. It doesn't even list them on here. That's the big one that we're going for today. I'm going to open up a few packs and we'll go flip through them all at once. Hopefully make this a little bit quicker so that maybe this video isn't dragged on for too long because these, are, these cards are a little bit stuck together and the names are hard to read. So it might take a minute. All right, we'll open up four packs at a time. Hopefully these uh, these ones aren't too stuck together. Yeah, we'll flip through this one little chunk at a time. There's Trevor Hoffman. That's pretty young Trevor Hoffman. Uh, the goal today is to find some really nice inserts and to also find some slab candidates for PSA grading. And no one crazy just yet. There's a nice Wade Boggs right there. Set that one aside to look at later. We've got another one, the exact same player. Gold Leaf Rookies insert. You, you hate to see it. You really do. You're hoping for a better name. Um, no crazy names just yet. Love doing these throwback breaks. These, these junk wax stuff are starting to get more and more expensive and less and less available as the hobby takes off in 2020. I'm sure you, all of you guys have experienced the, the big boom that's been going on lately with cards. Even the junk wax stuff is starting to pick up some value to them, which is good to see. But it's also really tough to come by. Now we've got an insert in here again. Another Gold Leaf Rookies. Ricky Botalico. Haven't heard of the guy, but another insert for us. And no other huge names coming from that stack. Only Wade Boggs. I'll check out this next half stack for us. Yeah, I'm really glad the cards aren't sticking or snowflaking. That's always a good thing. Uh, ooh, thought it was a Mark McGuire for a second. There's Jeff Bagwell. Felix Fermin, I liked him. Put in the Indians for a little bit. And there's a Gary Sheffield. The chef, not talked about enough in the hobby. I wish he had more love. And are you kidding me? Are you serious? It's our third one already. There's no way. <laughs> That's our third one of this. Gold Leaf Rookies. That's crazy. Well, you hate to see it, but we'll keep going. Hopefully our luck will uh, pick up. As we go on throughout the break, let's see who else we got here. Bip Roberts. Names are kind of tough to see, but we are going fairly fast. And we'll see here. Nope. No big names. Sad to see it. And once again, doubling up on the insert for Gold Leaf Rookies. So that's unfortunate that we're doubling up on the inserts. Not too great. 
And that'll finish off that stack. There's what the backs look like, by the way. I do like the back design. I like the stamp they have in the corner with the card number on top. Really good for organizing cards, and it looks pretty nice. Leaf was a, was a good-looking set back in the day. Leaf Limited was a really, really good-looking set. I opened up a box of... I think it was 94 Leaf Limited. Oh, yeah, the, the box is right here in the background. Um, yeah, 94 Leaf Limited. I opened that up on the channel, and that was really fun to do. You can check out that video. That one was a while ago. Pulled some really nice stuff on it. That was just Leaf Limited, just a high-quality set. And I wish I could get my hands on more of that product, but it is, it's just fairly expensive and just not as available. So we'll have to settle for the base leaf stuff. Of course, 1995 wasn't, I guess, the best year for collecting really at all. There wasn't too many, like, big rookies, big names coming out of there. I know Bartolo Colon had a nice rookie and from the Bowman set. You know, big, sexy. It's always fun. These cards are really, really stuck together. But let's go ahead and get chunking on this first half here. Uh, Paul Sorrento. I like the like the old school Indians. I collect a lot of Indians cards. Like this one right here. There's uh, Paul Shuey. The nice uh, Fu Manchu there. Brian Jordan. And some of these cards, if we can grade them nicely, they can get some nice water into wine. There's a Matt Williams. We've got another flipped card here. Looks like it'll be another Gold Leaf Rookies, but it's a different player now. Finally, Corey Bailey of the Red Sox. I don't think it's just going to be a big set of good names in there. Williams. And, ooh, nice Kenny Lawson. That's pretty cool. I would say the card's in good shape, but I can already see some printing lines going down the middle of it. I don't know if the camera will pick that up, but there's already some printing lines. I'll take another closer look at it. But that'd be nice to get that into PSA 10. That'd be really cool for my collection, at least. You know, every card that you grade doesn't have to be a super valuable card. It just has to be something cool to you that you want to get graded. It's like a 1995 Leaf Kenny Lofton. That would be really cool to me, but probably not nearly as cool to most other people. Here's another Leaf Gold Leaf Rookies, Brian Hunter. I've heard of that name, and at least it's a new name, but it's probably nothing big. And nothing else too crazy. I'm surprised there's not nearly as many big names that we're seeing so far. Only Wade Boggs and Kenny Lofton. We'll finish out the stack. Real quick. We got a card stuck here. Nope. That was going to be an insert for a second. Hoping for a different type of insert coming up. There's a checklist right here. And the checklists are technically inserts, but uh, there's a Frank Thomas checklist. Checklists can be really cool if they have some really nice names on it. I know the old school, like the old vintage checklists, if you get them in nice condition, they can sell for quite a bit. Because most checklists back in the day were actually used as checklists and people checked them off and you know wrote on them. Alright, let's see here. There's a nice Greg Maddox. And that one doesn't look bad. I'll set that one aside. So we're getting some big names. And they're starting to stick together, which is stinky. Ooh, we got one nice here. Charles Johnson, definitely heard of that name. Gold Leaf Rookie insert once again. No other crazy inserts, though. I wish the names were a little easier to read. That's why it's taken a minute to go through these cards. And we're going to get a nice nice chunk, nice stack of cards here, though, which is great for set building. Awesome stuff. It says $2.89 per pack back in the day. I guess that was kind of kind of a lot. I guess Leaf was trying to compete with the other high-end sets. Of course, this was in this time these cards were made, the hobby was kind of shifting. It was, um, it was originally focused towards kids. That's like the low-end stuff, like the, the 88 Donruss and the 90 Donruss, 90 Tops, all that like super junk, waxy era cards. Those were all geared towards kids. They're cheap, mass-produced, and fun, colorful things that just wanted to appeal to kids. And then as cards started to shift towards appealing to the adult collectors, the more people that had more money on them. So you can see these packs are 289 That's kind of a lot for back in the day. Considering packs of cards where, you know, $0.10, cents, $0.05, cents, even upwards of a dollar that was kind of pushing it back then but 289 for a pack of cards that's kind of absurd and you don't even get like you get 15 cards which seems like a lot nowadays and we get like 14 cards per hobby pack but back in the day that was quite a bit so definitely as you can see the the shifting market focus here so we've got a nice kirby pucket it's kind of cool kirby pucket nice card there don't like how the cards are all flipped around. That's probably one of the more annoying things about the hobby. 
I can't tell. I don't know if they're like gold parallels, but some of the shine just kind of gives off that uh, that feeling of it. Another checklist here. Technically an insert. I notice that the inserts are really sticking to the cards. I'm guessing Leaf was trying to compete with Bowman back in the day, and Stadium Club as well. Another Wade Boggs for us. Take a look at that a little bit later. And I think Ken Griffey's in this set, the base set. There's a John Smoltz, not a bad card. I'll set it aside. And what are you stuck to? Another checklist. So I think that's our third checklist. It's got Paul O'Neill on it. Let's see here, Chuck Finley, Dennis Martinez, and can read that <laughs> rich Roland to finish that out we'll go in this next stack here if we can get some bigger names and better inserts we got to get heated up here i think we're about halfway done with the box too oh nice cal ripkin jr right on top it's probably the best name we've seen so far left and or excuse me <laughs> bottom left and top left corners are very much dinged pretty pretty badly but that's okay jeff bagwell and seems some more recognizable names. There's Jay Buhner. And there we go. Corey Bailey once again. Another duplicate for that. And we'll see here. No more big names. I don't think Carlos, or excuse me, um, Bartolo Colon is in the set. That would be a rookie year. I do know he's in the Bowman set, though, and it's a really cool card of him. I do have it in my collection, so... Kind of nice. And these ones are really, really stuck together. There's Wayne Kirby. Wayne Kirby had some really nice walk-offs for the Indians back in the 90s. Unsung hero, just kind of like a low-riding guy. Had some really nice walk-offs, though. So, fun, fun player. And we got another one here. Another insert. Cold Leaf Rookies, Brian Hunter, once again. Cool. Open up a few more packs. And keep going. So hopefully we can get another big insert besides Gold Leaf Rookies. Maybe a few more big names as well. A statistical standout card would be awesome. But that might be pushing our luck. Those are pretty tough to come by. I looked at the baseball cardpedia of 95 Leaf. You know, it was like 1 in 70 packs. We only have like 24 here to be going through. So odds are not in our favor. But we should be getting at least one of the other inserts. Maybe a couple of them actually. Hopefully we can get those pretty soon. Heat things up a bit. Get this break a little bit, a little bit of life into it. Again, if you guys are new to the channel, I'd love for you to subscribe. We do plenty of throwback breaks just like these. Ooh, check this out. I, I cut it right in half. And we got a 300 club insert. Will Clark. Good looking card there. I'm going to put a sleeve on this real quick. Because it's, it's, a, it's a different card that we've seen. So I want to make sure it's protected. I don't know the rarity. Let's go ahead and take a look. The odds for 300 club. So those are 1 in 10 packs exclusive to retail. Again, these odds are really tough to see in the pack, so I apologize for that. Nice, nice Will Clark card there. Awesome looking insert. We'll set that aside. That's good. Something new here. You love to see it. Got an Indians here. Wayne Kirby, once again, was just talking about him. And there's Paul Shuey. So we're starting to see some duplicate names, which is good means we might have again this is just series one by the way so we won't be completing full sets here won't have a shot at doing that got another gold leaf rookies a new name orlando miller love to see it john olerud nothing crazy just yet pretty standard names mostly commons here that's okay for me as a set builder that's really okay checklist number two i think we've already gotten that one if not, still good. And, ooh, ooh, oh, it's the cornerstone insert. Nice. Okay, we'll take a look at this. Got Frank Thomas and Robin Ventura. Look at how good these cards look. Wow. Wow. The camera does not do this justice. I mean, the good looking card, man. Like, the inserts in the 90s are unmatched today. Like, I know today it's all about the autograph, which is kind of unfortunate, but. Back in the 90s, the inserts were the game, and honestly, the inserts, they really, really put out. So the shine on this is just really, really cool. I like that, Frank Thomas. That's another really nice insert. Which one was that? That was a cornerstone. 
And the cornerstone insert is 1 in 14. So we hit a 1 in 10, and we hit a 1 in 14. Pretty, pretty cool. We're doing well right now. And look at that, a Frank Thomas base and a Ricky Henderson base. Oh, boy, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> I know it's just junk wax stuff, but that's really cool to me. We'll take a look at those, see if they're uh, eligible to send into the slab candidate off to PSA to get created. And we'll keep on going here, see if we get anything else interesting. Like another gold leaf rookie of this another person that we've already had. That we just had actually. Orlando Miller. Mm, nothing crazy. See Bip Roberts there. And we got another gold leaf rookies. What do you know? Same guy after a third one of him. And we'll end it off with some cards that are stuck together. Chili Davis at the end there. Pretty cool. We got some two nice inserts and some good named players there. Got a couple more packs to be going through. And stay tuned for the very end. You guys get to see a random card from my collection. Just post a picture of a random card from my collection that I like to show off. So I feel like I have a massive collection. I just don't show you guys enough of what I have in my collection. So it's always fun. I'm going to start doing that at the end of my videos. Just uh, putting some fun cards at the end of my videos. We'll see what's in these next few packs. We sh hopefully should be getting one or two more of those crazy different inserts other than Gold Leaf Rookies. But I'm actually, I'm I'm just glad that we pulled a Cornerstone insert because I really wanted to get one of those. So this is our second to latch little tower here of cards. We're cutting it in half. Let's take a look. This is Brian Jordan. And looking crazy with Bernie Williams there. I know that name. Kirby Pocket, once again, I'll set that aside. Here we go. Alex Gonzalez for the Gold Leaf Rookies. I think that's a new name. That's a new name. Love to see it. And these ones aren't sticking together, which is good. Oh, nice. There we go. Mike Greenwell 300 Club. Not the name you want to see, but still a different type of insert. So that's pretty awesome. Looks cool. I like it. Let's go through this last stack down here. And we've got a Gold Leaf Rookie coming up. It's a new name. It's a new name. Ray McDavid. That's two new names in a row. Awesome. It was Greg Maddox there. I almost skipped over that. I think that's a Joe Carter. Yep. Joe Carter classic look there. Every time I see a, a card like this in his old school Toronto, I just think of the uh, World Series walk-off. The, I think it was only two World Series home run walk-offs. Joe Carter and what was the other one? Oh, there's like there's more than more than two, I think. I know Joe Carter and Kirk Gibson were some, but I can't remember the other names. If there were any. I'm just I'm just spewing facts out my butt right now, so I might be wrong. It's pretty late at night and filming this. Jim Edmonds. And we got another gold leaf rookie here. Chan Ho Park. Okay, there we go. So that's a good name. Definitely heard of that name. He had a lot of uh, a lot of hype around him coming in for the Dodgers. So I'll just put a sleeve on that. It's the first name I think I've recognized for that set. That's kind of a bigger name. And Jay Buner there. Paul Neal. This one is flipped upside down, so we'll see if it's anything. No, nope, I don't think it is. <laughs> Maybe it just got mixed up being flipped around there, but all right. And there's Jay Bell. Got another Gold Leaf rookie. Let's see if it's anyone new. I think it is. Nice. Garrett Anderson. And then we'll finish this off. Okay, we're down to our last three packs here. Cross your fingers. Let's hope we can get a statistical standout insert. And if we don't, I'll, I'll try to flash them what they look like on the screen at least once throughout this video. You can see what they look like because they're pretty incredible. They're embossed. I think the front of them is supposed to feel like an actual baseball leather. Of course, they're numbered out of 5,000, and there's some really good names in there like Ken Griffey and other big-name players. But we'll look at this last pack here. I don't see anything sticking out, so I don't think we have a statistical standout. I might be wrong, though. See what we got. There's Ozzie Guillen. Seen some new names here, which is good. 
Jim Leeritz. We've got a 16 of 16 here. Andrew Lorraine's new Gold Leaf rookie. Awesome. That'll go towards the set. Oh, there we go. Nice. Cecil Fielder, Travis Fryman for Detroit. Was not a fan of their uniforms back then. Just didn't like the stripe along the shoulders and the arms. But we'll put this card in nice and smooth. There's like a weird powder running off of my hands, too. Yeah, there we go. Very, very cool. That's our second cornerstone insert. That's just an awesome looking card. I love 90s inserts. So, so cool. Comment down below what your guys' favorite 1990s insert is. Old school insert. The die cuts especially were really prominent back in the day. Some awesome stuff. So comment below. I want to know your guys' uh, favorite 1990s insert is. Here's another card that's flipped over. I don't see. It's not like a parallel or anything. It's just. It's not a short print. I don't know. I don't know why it's flipped over like that. But we'll keep on going. And we got another Chanho Park. Very nice. I'll put that in a sleeve, I suppose. Because it is. The, I sleeved it up last time. Got to keep it consistent. And all right. Last couple of cards here. We'll finish things off. <clears throat> take a look at that. Oh, Javi Lopez. It's Greg Biggio there. Jim Edmonds. Todd Zeal. And ooh, Alex Rodriguez. What is this all about? Got an A-Rod. Is this a Gold Leaf rookie? It sure is. Alex Rodriguez, Gold Leaf rookie. That's not bad. Forgot he was a pretty young player in 1995. I didn't even know he was in this set, so that's pretty awesome. Guess I spoke a little earlier that there's no good players in the set, but hey, A-Rod's in there. Pretty, pretty cool. Very nice. So there you guys have it. Let's just go. I want to take a look at the key inserts that we got from the set. Skipping over the key cards. These are key players that I'm going to take a look at again for grading purposes. But uh, we'll take a look at these inserts here. I really like this Frank Thomas one. This is probably one of my favorite cards of the break. The Cornerstone, Frank Thomas. Travis Fryman, Cecil Fielder, Cornerstone. Got the Mike Greenwell and Will Clark 300 Club insert. And this A-Rod, Gold Leaf Rookie. This is probably the most valuable one of the set. But nothing crazy from the break. Still a lot of fun, though. It would be awesome to put the set together. And uh, go ahead and take a look at the card of the video. Let me go. Let me know what you guys think of it. Also, thank you all for joining me for today's throwback wax break. If you guys did, please like and subscribe for more of these videos to come. And I will see you guys next time.